In modern warfare, staying ahead means more than just boots on the ground. It's about armored vehicles that can transport, protect, and fight alongside troops. Welcome to the ultimate duel of two battlefield legends, the Swedish CV-90 and the German Martyr, both hailed as battlefield legends. But when firepower meets firepower, mobility faces off, and survival is on the line, which of these infantry fighting vehicles truly dominates the 21st century battlefield? Let's find out as we pit the CV-90 against the Martyr in a head-to-head -head showdown. The CV-90, short for Combat Vehicle 90, first hit the scene in 1993. Designed by Sweden's Bofors, it was built to handle some seriously tough conditions. Think snowy, rugged Scandinavian landscapes. Over the years, the CV-90 has gone through several upgrades, with the latest being the CV-90 MK4. Each new version has focused on making it stronger, faster, and better protected allowing it to stay relevant in the fast-paced world of modern warfare. On the flip side, the martyr story goes back to the late 1960s, when Germany needed a heavily armed infantry fighting vehicle to work alongside its Leopard tanks. Designed by Rheinmetall and Porsche, the martyr became a key part of the German army and made its debut in 1971. Like the CV-90, the Martyr has seen plenty of upgrades over time, getting better armor, firepower, and updated tech to stay competitive on the battlefield. The CV-90 has earned a reputation for being highly effective in real-world combat, with deployments in Afghanistan, Kosovo, and most recently, Ukraine. Ukrainian forces have praised the vehicle for its survivability and versatility on the battlefield. Meanwhile, the Martyr has a rich operational history, spanning from the Cold War era to present-day deployments, including its use in peacekeeping missions and in support of NATO operations. While the Martyr hasn't been deployed as widely in high-intensity conflicts in recent years, its robust design continues to earn it a place in Germany's mechanized infantry. The CV-90 is a real powerhouse, with a turbocharged engine that can crank out up to 1,000 horsepower, depending on the version. Weighing about 37 tons, it's surprisingly agile for its size, handling rough terrain like a pro. Armed with a 30mm Bushmaster cannon, it packs serious firepower, backed up by anti-tank missiles and advanced sensors that help with pinpoint targeting and keeping an eye on threats. When it comes to protection, the CV-90 doesn't mess around. It's got modular armor that can be upgraded and active protection systems that can stop incoming threats like rockets or missiles in their tracks. The Martyr, slightly lighter at around 35 tons, runs on a 600 horsepower engine. While it's not as powerful as the CV-90, it's known for being super reliable and handling off-road terrain really well. Its main weapon is a 20mm Rheinmetall autocannon. Originally, its armor was built to defend against small arms fire and shrapnel, but newer versions have been upgraded with composite armor for extra protection. However, the Martyr doesn't have the same advanced active protection systems as the CV-90, which is a pretty big deal when it comes to surviving modern battlefield threats. Talking about mobility, the CV-90 has a clear edge in mobility thanks to its stronger engine and advanced suspension. It can zip through tough terrain at high speeds, whether it's in the woods or urban areas. The Martyr is still agile, but it doesn't quite match the CV-90's power or speed, which can be a drawback when quick movement is key on the battlefield.
terms of firepower, the CV-90's 30mm cannon is a beast compared to the Martyr's 20mm gun. It can take on infantry, lightly armored vehicles, and even some heavier targets with its anti-tank missiles. The Martyr does well against infantry and lighter vehicles, but doesn't have the firepower to handle modern armored threats as effectively as the CV-90. For survivability, the CV-90 really shines. Its modular armor and active protection systems offer top-notch defense against small arms, mines, and anti-tank weapons. The Martyr, while solid in terms of armor, lacks those advanced defenses, making it more vulnerable in modern combat. The CV-90 has proven itself in conflicts like Ukraine, while the Martyr's older design shows its limitations. Feedback from soldiers using the CV-90 has been overwhelmingly positive. Users praise its combination of firepower, mobility, and protection, particularly in environments like Afghanistan and Ukraine. Ukrainian soldiers describe the CV-90 as their deadliest vehicle, highlighting its ability to withstand direct hits and continue the fight. Its versatility in different combat environments, from urban warfare to wide open fields, makes it a favorite among those who rely on it in the heat of battle. The Martyr, on the other hand, has earned a reputation for reliability and ease of maintenance, with many users noting that it's a workhorse of the battlefield. However, some critiques highlight its aging design and the limitations in firepower and protection compared to more modern IFVs like the CV-90. Despite these drawbacks, the Martyr's proven track record and consistent upgrades over the years have kept it relevant in many mechanized infantry units. In the Battle of the IFVs, the CV-90 emerged as a more modern, versatile, and survivable platform compared to the aging Martyr. While the Martyr remains a reliable vehicle with a proud operational history, the CV-90's superior firepower, mobility, and protection systems make it the clear choice for modern warfare. As battlefield dynamics continue to evolve, IFVs like the CV-90 that can adapt to new threats will likely dominate future military operations. That said, the Martyr's legacy as a dependable workhorse of mechanized infantry should not be overlooked. Which IFV do you think is better suited for today's battlefield? Let us know in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.